What's up with it, Hood News peeps? How are you guys doing? Happy Friday, friends. Happy Friday. I'm, look, I'm so excited. I'm going to tell y'all something, okay? Uh, I, I kind of want to cry about it, but it's all, it's all good. Um, you know, today I just went shopping for, you know, just some fall things, you know, whatever, whatever. And I'm excited because, like, I, I tend to be tomboyish ever since I started gaining a lot of weight. And I've lost enough weight that I feel more confident in women's clothing again. So it's it's just something I want to share. Maybe it'll motivate somebody else, you know. Uh, I do a lot of fasting these days. And, and it's hard. It's hard. But I'm so excited, friends. I just want to cry. Because, you know, it was such a a journey to try like losing weight was very hard like it's so like you can i went from skinny mini to like man baby <laughs> like uh thicker than a snicker like that and it is so cool that i've lost enough weight that i feel good about shopping again and things like that man so i just want to say what's up with it friends how y'all doing and i still got a lot of weight to go okay so gordita i'm still gordita but but it's less it's less you know like it's it's less hard once you once you start losing the weight it's it's not as hard it's not as hard like you you feel more motivated and so yeah if you're out there struggling with it man i'm here to tell y'all it'll be okay friends it, it'll be okay keep pushing you know keep pushing because we got to do it so that we're around for a long time um that was my wake-up call not feeling good like just from all the weight gain man like it'll kill you it'll it'll literally kill you so now we we don't pay we don't I don't made my PSA for for the day but listen friends let me tell y'all what's happening this guy this come on down from today let me show you this guy marker Marcus Marcus Mark Ass let me tell y'all something man <laughs> oh my god this guy right here this guy right here this come on down this guy right here baby i've been getting all kinds of messages like he's walked out on some things and services and people are so afraid they don't want to lose their jobs and i and i'm gonna always respect that i can't tell you tips or specifics he has been he goes by the name of marker like m-a-r-k-e-r -E alan jones so that's the name that is provided on on like applications and stuff right well we see him on facebook as m-a-r-k-u-s like mark us like mark us right mark us for some payments please then 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 it's m-a-r that that's one facebook profile right one of them the other facebook profile is m-a-r-c-u-s so we've got this guy is is gone viral he walked out of a barber cut went outside acting like his girlfriend's gonna come bring the money he went doo, 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 doo. no 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 he gets off the chair they dust him off they're like hey you look good man uh your payment's gonna be uh 40 dollars whatever it was and he says in his mind he's like 40 dollars then he acts like he cash apped he's like uh the the barber's like hey it didn't go through He's like, hold on, let me let me tell my girl real quick. So he goes outside and pretends. Doo, 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 doo. Ring, ring, ring. Hello. Hey, babe. I'm gonna need you to pick me up right now. What? Where are you at? Come, come scoop me up. I'm ready. I'm ready. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Come scoop me up. They're watching me. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Just pick me up, okay? The squirt, squirt. No, no, no. Don't even pick me up. Turn the car back around because there's no way to exit out of here. We'll be trapped. All right, babe? hurry up hurry up hurry up okay what's the problem what's going on i'll tell you when you get here he made that baby mama an accomplice and then she's like the 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 ski like turns around busts a you real quick picks them up and they haul ass out of there so that's what happened to one houston barbershop man uh please make sure that you support our local businesses uh to sean darnell lundy make sure you follow them they do some great work but also He's done it to others. Other people are stepping forward. It's not just it's not just haircuts, okay? This man, this man is not going to be able to get a haircut within a 200-mile radius. <laughs> oh, my God. The come on down, a lot of people always say, do they go to jail for come on downs? Not necessarily. The, the come on down satisfaction that you get 
is is watching this guy being blasted all over hood news right that's that's kind of like the payoff you won't see justice but you get satisfaction and everybody else knowing that that they've been featured on the hood news right somebody said that's my man's oh lord catherine anyways another picture came forward some uh, another barber shop another situation i don't know what this situation was about but i will show you this i'm gonna, I'm gonna show y'all something real quick baby uh and to sean darnell lundy the barber says grizzy my girl i can't lie you are one hell of a detective no it's the peeps the peeps friends i got the tip at 4 a.m you never know when the tips are going to come in somebody recognized him he walked out on a tab and that's they had they had paperwork for this guy and they were able to get him yeah this guy when, when friends this this man is not gonna have it easy like next time he walks into a place they're probably gonna pre-charge him so so check this out we we got him comfortable in your skin and just represent what's real to you here he is. You just gotta know what you stand for and know what you represent. Know what's true to you. Because you can't please everybody. You can't be everything to everybody. But you could be true. You could be yourself and comfortable in your skin and just represent what's real to you. <laughs> Man, y'all, like, I couldn't find any social media for him. I think he blocked me. So I went to one of my million of profiles and I found them friends. Y'all are so freaking funny, dude. Y'all are so funny. Y'all were sending me pictures of this man in barber chairs. <laughs> y'all got y'all one of y'all one of y'all got a picture of him sitting in the lobby. <laughs> I don't know what he did, but I don't want to ask because people can violate, you know, their job stuff. So so I'll just keep it simple. Let me just say like this. A lot of people have been reaching out about this man and his lack of mm, business transactions. His is his lack of payment plans, his lack of, you know, making things right. So hopefully, hopefully he will go to these different spots and do the right thing. Because that's what we're hoping for. I am so done. I am so dead. And you know what somebody said? Hold on. Let me read one of the most viral comments. The, the, the comment section goes hard on the hood news. And let me read you the, the, the you know, profiles. Okay. Let me, let me, let me read y'all the, the most funniest thing that I read. And I, friends, I was so done. I was so done. I was like, man, I'm throwing away the internet. I am throwing away the internet. Hold on. Regine, Regine says, karma will come back in the form of a receding hairline. <laughs> friends, I was at the mall, you know, cause like I said, I came to shop for some clothes cause Grizzy getting her sexy back, right? And I was at the mall and, and I read that comment, friends. I cackled so loud. I went, ah, 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 like that. Everybody turned around and looked at me like, what's wrong with this lady? Are you all right? Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm all right. Baby, I laughed so hard that karma will come back as a receding hairline, man. Oh, oh my God. Pay your dues. Pay your dues. You never know. Oh, my God. It's a nice looking young man, too. This sucks. You know, he could have. He could have easily have swapped out like, hey, let me be your hair model and I ain't got to pay, you know, or something like there, there's a lot of ways to 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 trade. You could trade. You could barter. Man, we're in different times these days, man. Could have worked something out, man. You didn't have to walk out on that. And and, you know, like that's that's really bad for the local businesses. The local businesses, you know, they cut your hair. They make you feel good. They're standing on their feet for a long time. Shout out to them, especially Thursdays, Fridays, Saturdays, Sundays, they're busy days. Just for this fool to walk out without paying, man. That's the worst feeling. It's All right, there we go. I, I lost signal. Friends, I'm going to let y'all go, but everybody continue to have a, a happy Friday. More hood news on the way as it's coming in. We've got a situation out in Seabrook. I've heard that somebody was shot, but I have not confirmed that yet. They've got a SWAT standoff. I did make a post. And I pretty much all I did was provide a picture from the uh, hood news peep and I copied and pasted, literally copied and pasted what Seabrook Police Department wrote because there's some wording in there that I don't want to misinterpret. They said there's no uh, danger to the community, but at the same time, they're telling people not to come out of their homes. And, and so I just left that there because it's intentional wording and I don't want to misconstrue anything or give off another idea 
So everybody, heads on a swivel out there, friends. Be safe. Be advised. I love y'all. Be safe. Bye. Some, somebody says, sad brother, uh, asking baby mama for money. He's like this. No. Y'all like when I do the phone calls, right? Do, 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 do. Hello. You have a collect call from, this is Marker Allen Jones from the Harris County Jail. To accept this call, please press one. Do. Please enter your credit card number, starting with the first four numbers. Do, 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 your payment has been processed. Thank you for calling. No, you can now speak. Thank you for using Securist. Click. Hey. Hey, boo. Wait, wait, wait. Don't boo me. Why are you in jail? What happened? They got me because I didn't pay for my haircut. What? Baby, get get me out. They said I'll be out on the PR bond, but I think this time they said $1,000 because I done did it before. What? Oh, I don't have that money. Spread cheeks. <laughs> Click. <laughs> oh my god thank you for using securist yeah friends you got to hey spread you got to spread cheeks baby us women in 2024 we are not trying to bail out no dudes we're not trying to waste our money we got kids we're in a recession we got the port of houston barely opened back up all y'all with all that extra toilet paper <whistles> all y'all mofos that stocked up on all that toilet paper y'all need to donate that over to the north carolinas the care like all the places affected by the hurricane out in the mountains please donate that stuff please don't hoard please please friends all y'all that decided to show out and y'all want to be doomsday preppers at the last minute all y'all that want to be like like i'm a doomsday prepper i ain't had to buy shit i got a stockpile of stuff that's what you do you you know you you stock up on stuff you don't wait till the shit hits the fan and go ah and then y'all then 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 we got peeps sending me all these pictures of all these mofos buying all this stuff at sam's club costco you know i said damn i hope i hope they're shopping for the hurricane victims nah it's greed greedy man greedy i hope all y'all people that bought all that toilet paper all that tissue paper and water made in america i hope you guys donate that the greatest place would probably be the cajun navy Give it to the Cajun Navy because I heard that there's problems with people transporting stuff to go donate. I don't know what's going on. I think people are coming across that they can't get there. So please, friends, donate to the big organizations like the Cajun Navy. Um, you know, donate to them. That's one I can vouch for. A lot of people have been sending me stuff. I don't want to ask y'all to donate nowhere if I can't bet it. I don't know if it's real. I don't know any of that. So Cajun Navy is a good one. All right, friends, donate. Yes, and, and then some of y'all, I know what y'all are going to be giving away for the white elephant party. You're going to be packing a big-ass box of toilet paper, man. That's so sad. So sad. All right, friends. I love y'all. Be safe. Stay amazing. More hood news on the way. Let's go. Are all of you Texans going to vote for VP because Texas needs... Oh, my God. Somebody just went political on my ass. Why are you doing that? The, the honest... Pray. Oh, my God. Okay, whatever. Y'all just do, vote. Just go vote. I don't want to hear none of y'all bitching when we get what we get. The, the, the pickings are slim, okay? And, and Republican people, can I tell y'all something? Republican people, okay? I vote both ways, by the way, okay? The, the, don't let this fool you. I vote both ways. Everybody know. Go look at my personal Facebook and you'll see what's up. But I keep that out of there. I keep that out of the hood news. But I will say this. Republican Party... You guys aren't putting out candidates. That's what, I don't want to hear y'all complaining. It's not about people not voting. People vote, but guess what? When we got judges' seats that sit, stand uncontested, they're going to win and win and win and win. Y'all mofos, y'all need to go on and, and get contenders. Get contenders. You, you Nobody's running up for any of these seats. And then, and then I will say this. When y'all do pick somebody to run up for certain spots, Make sure it's somebody that the people can swallow. Make sure it's somebody that the people say, oh, I can relate to this person. Don't, don't, don't fake the funk. Y'all need better people out there, man. If y'all, I hear Republicans always complaining and stuff. Get, get better candidates out there that people can swallow, man. I'm telling you right now because whatever, man, it's just, it is what it is. I don't want to hear nobody bitching. Go vote, go vote, go vote. Yeah. All right. Even it out, even the odds, you, you're sending people that people aren't convinced with. The voters, 
don't necessarily want to they want they want people they can relate with unfortunately they're not thinking sometimes and they vote for the wrong people because they think the people that they relate to aren't it don't work out like that put people that got this the mouthpiece that can talk put people that are out there in the streets put the people of the people don't put some weirdo and then you get them to change their last name so he can convince the you know the other people don't do all that shit because we see right through it bye uh, and if you don't vote <laughs> yes all right friends bye